Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to talk about Asteroids. Yes, the classic arcade game from 1979. It was created by Atari and used vector graphics. I don't think I had this video quite right. Hold on one second while I make a slight adjustment. There we go. That's better. This is the Asteroids X Replicate by New Wave Toys. Let's check it out. If you go to the NewWaveToys.com website, link right here, you'll find that the Asteroids X Replicate is $119.99, and unfortunately, it's currently sold out. However, I will show you one place that I found that appears to still have them available, so if you're watching this video soon enough, you may be able to pick one up too. Now let's take a look at the features of the Asteroids X Replicate. It's a replica of the 1979 Asteroids arcade machine at 1 6 scale or 12 inches tall. It's a limited production run of the 40th anniversary edition of only 3,500 units. It has a high resolution screen optimized for vector graphics. It has Atari Owl Eyes metal coin door with a storage compartment. It plays the original Asteroids arcade game. There is an arcade operator's menu featuring dip switches and cabinet settings. High score saving with non-volatile memory, the Atari Cone Volcano buttons, authentic wood cabinet construction, amplified mono audio with volume control, illuminated marquee and cabinet hex sense, built-in high capacity rechargeable battery, a micro USB charge cable, four mini arcade tokens, and it's officially licensed by Atari. Let's go ahead and open the box to the Asteroids X Replicate. It was very well packaged, as you can see here. It is a box inside of a box inside of a box. One thing that I noticed that I thought was kind of funny is the dimensions don't quite match up. It doesn't match up to the Replicate or the actual machine. Although the weight was correct, it matches the original arcade machine. Eh, no big deal. Let's go ahead and open it. And there we go, there's the box that contains the actual Asteroids Replicate, and it looks great! It looks and plays and controls like the original Asteroids arcade game. It's a limited edition 12-inch Playscale arcade machine. 40th anniversary of Asteroids. Shouldn't have that been 2019? Ah, anyway, we've already gone over the feature, so we'll just skip on over to opening the box itself. What I really love about these replicates is the attention to detail. Everything from the packaging to the units themselves and the accessories. Here we have the charging cable. It's a micro USB to USB type A. And we'll go ahead and open this package and see what all's in there. Looks like there's some alternate control panel layouts if you want to use those. Very interesting. I don't think I'll be changing mine. It also includes four little coins. You can't actually use these in the coin door, but still, it's a nice touch. And here we have the Operation and Maintenance and Service Manual. It's designed to look like the one that came with the original Asteroids arcade machine. And if we look here, it looks like the next unit is going to be a 1942 wood grain arcade from Replicate. Very interesting. Taking a brief look at the manual, we've got, uh, let's see, how to charge, how to start a game, how to open the coin door, and a few game tips. And on the next page, we got navigating the menu, caution, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Except for there are a lot of other languages that are included in the manual. Uh, that's very nice, but let's go ahead and get this unit out of the packaging. There we go. This is really cool. So yeah, well, let's remove the screen cover here. And this is what it looks like. Let's take a close up here. You can see the bezel. And you can see it's got a three dimensional look to it. And the control panel. There's your fire button. Your thrust. 
and uh, your hyperspace, and then your left and right button over here for turning your ship left and right. I could get used to that. There's your player one, player two, and your LI coin door. They didn't use those for very long back in the day, so this is really nice, very nostalgic. There is one LED in the middle that you can see right here that lights up the middle section. And the artwork looks fantastic. I don't see any imperfections whatsoever. It looks absolutely beautiful. On the top you have your volume control and your power button. You have this cool hologram sticker. I guess certificate of authenticity. Your speaker. And if we look a little closer we can see this unit is number 2510 out of a limited edition of 3500 units. And here's our charging port. And once again there's a sticker and it does have some rubber feed on the bottom. We'll go ahead and plug it in and go ahead and get this unit charged up. And we'll go ahead and turn the power on and it's booting up. And the marquee's all lit up. And now we're seeing some stuff on the screen. Replicate, the Atari logo, very cool. With the lights off, the screen looks kind of bluish at this angle. That's only with the camera. Now we'll go ahead and hit the right coin door button and enter the maintenance mode. And from here you can change various options like the marquee light, the starting lives, either three or four, attract mode which plays audio to attract people to play it, and the high score reset. Let's move on to the gameplay. To insert coins into the machine, press the left coin door. I'll insert about three of them. We'll hit player one and get started playing. The audio is awesome. It has a nice deep bass. It looks like the graphics for the vector glow have been modified. Obviously this is not a vector display, but they tried to give the effect of uh, having a vector display by the bullets here that the spaceship shoots. And in my opinion, I wish there was a way to turn that off. Uh, you know, I've played the classic asteroids for so many years, I, I can appreciate their reasoning for doing that, but I don't know. I think there ought to be an option to turn it off, and, and there isn't, unfortunately. Hopefully they can fix that through a firmware update. But otherwise, the game plays fantastic. It looks great. The machine looks great. I'm probably just being kind of nitpicky. The buttons are very responsive. I have no problems with the buttons. Of course, they're small. <laughs> and you will need to probably sit in a low chair to your desk in order to get a good viewing angle of the screen. But uh, it looks great. And now I'm going to get out. And when I do, yes, you can enter your initials. And it will retain them until you reset it in the options. All in all, I really enjoyed this device. The only issue I had was the small vector glow. That was kind of a problem, but otherwise, it's awesome. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button. You may also enjoy my video on the Dragon's Lair Replicate, as well as the Tempest and Change Machine, so be sure and check those out. And I'll let you in on a little sneak peek of something that's going to be coming soon to the channel. This is the new Inburnic RG351M, and hope to have that reviewed very soon. And lastly, I want to show you if you go to sideshow.com, search for asteroids. At the time of making this video, even though New Wave was sold out, Sideshow is still collecting orders. So apparently you can go in here and order an Asteroids Replicate. Now granted, these are probably going to be gone very quick. I have placed two orders from them in the past and everything came exactly as described and I hope you find this information helpful. If you'd like to see more helpful reviews and tutorials, then please click the subscribe button and with that, I will talk to you very soon.